Hi, this is Tori Wielt with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at Java One talking to members of the Java community. I've got Paul Sorensen here, who's Senior Director of the Global Certification Program. Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you? Nice to be here. Nice, yeah, it's great. How's your Java One been? Oh, it's been great. It's a great conference this year. Okay, so you're all about Java, Java certification, and I'm just gonna put my developer shoes on and go, I know I'm good, why do I need to get certified? Well, that's a great question. I mean, that's a question everybody's asking. What should I do, and with the, with the transitions and the changes that have happened with Java, you know, what, what's Oracle gonna do, and, and why is this important to me? But if you really look at the crux of, of the issue, I mean, there, there's a lot of opportunity out there. That, that's the main reason. There are over three billion devices that run Java, and you see other signs around that talk about the pervasiveness of the technology, and that's growing. I mean, home automation, that's the big thing around the corner, and there is going to be a lot of opportunity there. You're talking about homes, individual homes, and devices in those homes, and Java is going to be the platform those are developed on. So the key with, with certification is you can, it, it's an endorsement from Oracle. So you can get an endorsement from Oracle that you meet certain standards. We credential you with that, that uh, certification, and you are attached, attached to that name. I mean, uh, you're attached to, to the, the technology and endorsed by a big company that sponsors, as a big sponsor of Java. Wow, that's really cool. So if I'm interested, how hard is it? How many, I have to take 100,000 classes, and it's going to take me forever, right? No, it's not exactly that way, but I wouldn't say that it's easy. I mean, it's a tough credential, and, and we make it that way because we want to make sure that it has value once you've earned it. So if you're going to uh, you know, present that credential, the people who you're presenting that to, the companies, they're going to use that as a way to know that you have certain skills and that you know certain things, and that's important that way. So for the Java OCA, and I'm going to talk about SE7 because that's our most uh, recent credential, and we've updated that. It's all new. We've, we've developed that thing really from the ground up. And with SE7, you take one exam at the OCA level, the Oracle Certified Associate level, and one exam at the Oracle Certified Professional level. Neither of, of those exams is easy, but uh, really that professional level is, is kind of the flagship level where you want to be, similar to with Sun, the G SCJP, Java Programmer. And then you, of course, can always go up from there, and those credentials become tougher and tougher, require some training, and then some real tough uh, practical exams. So uh, it'll take you some time. It's doable, but you're going to have to work hard. Okay, you're going to have to work hard. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have things like study guides that are going to help people along the way, yes? Yeah, we have some great materials. In fact, Oracle University, and we fall under Oracle University, has some great training materials. And more than ever, we, we got, up, uh, got with the, the curriculum developers early on, and we said we want to make sure that these align well so that the training courses, if someone takes them, they're going to be great preparation for those certification exams. And so that coordination actually resulted into a real tight-knit um, connection between those tests and that training. Now, I'm not saying that you take the training, you're going to go pass the test. It's not that way. It doesn't work that way. You need a lot of practice. You're going to have to program. You're going to have to code. And you're going to have to do a lot of stuff, a lot of study outside the course. But those courses are a great way to, uh, to be able to prepare for that exam. Okay. Um, one question I get on Twitter all the time sure. is, can I get my certification without showing up anywhere physically? Can I do it all virtually? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not the case. You know, in order to maintain that credential, as a, as a high standard, the, the exams are proctored. And what that means is you actually go into a center, someone validates the, your ID, validates that you're you. We actually take your picture. Um, it's printed on your score report. And uh, so you don't want your mom looking at your score report saying, hey, who's this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's gotta be you that takes that test. And then um, you're actually watched while you take that exam. And then at the end of it, you can get a score. The score comes back within at least an hour. And so you get almost immediate re feedback on how you did. But uh, you definitely, you definitely have, to, uh, have to show up. Wow, that's really cool. So that gives it a lot more meaning to the people that are looking at it, right? The a potential employers say, wow, you, you didn't hack this test. You really took it. That's right. Uh, it, it increases the validity and, and the value over, over time and overall to have that a proctored uh, program. Wow. So this is pretty exciting. How do I find out more? Where do I go? There's a, there's a couple of great places that I would point folks to. First of all, our certification website. That's really the, the source of truth for everything in our program and the source of uh, what credentials we have because there's a lot more than just that Java SE 7 programmer. But uh, it's certification.oracle.com. And then in addition to that, I would encourage people to take a look at our blog, which is blogs.oracle.com slash certification. And then we, al we also have a, a, you know, a Twitter account, and uh, that's Oracle Cert and Facebook. 
Wow, so you're out in, in the social media answering questions and um, available to help people when they need it. Yeah, without question. We watch this closely. We respond. We have a certification forum as well that's, that's where the candidates talk to each other. We kind of sit on the periphery of that and only step in if people mm -hmm. have something really that nobody else can answer, but that's kind of a fun one to, to, to use as well. It's on the OTN network. Well, great. Paul, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy putting together classes and getting that training out to people. So it was great to see you here at Java One. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks a lot. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.